There are strong intersections between theology and medical ethics because uh, the, the theological tradition has done a lot of thinking on medical ethical issues. So for instance, in terms of end of life ethics, uh, it was Catholic thinkers in the 16th century that came up with the distinction of ordinary and extraordinary means. Uh, the distinction that we use today, that, that secular medical ethicists will use today. I think our culture doesn't like speaking about death because it is unknown, we do fear it, and we don't have any control over it. And I think that we're accustomed to having control over most of, most of our, uh, most aspects of our lives. And uh, because this is an area in which we have almost no control, uh, we fear it. And, and we don't like to, um, we don't like to think about it. We don't, we don't like to see it. We've medicalized death to a certain degree. We've institutionalized it. Um, a century ago, our great-grandparents would have died in the home. Uh, today, most of us will die in the hospital. Uh, that, that's a significant sh cultural shift, I think, and I think it's indicative of what we've done with death that we have institutionalized it, essentially. The Catholic tradition regarding end-of-life issues is realistic because it accounts for the whole, uh, it, it accounts for many different aspects of human life. It accounts for the body, the state of the body. What is the hope of benefit from the surgery? It accounts for one's suffering and pain, that uh, enormous suffering and pain does not have to be um, uh, the burden does not have to be carried through for years and years on end. You can decide to forego surgeries um, if the pain or there's, if, if there's an enormous pain or a long convalescence. Uh, it also considers one's uh, relationships with others, family and friends, and one's relationship with God. So I think it really hits on multiple aspects, the multiple aspects of being human. And it doesn't reduce the analysis to any one of them. It's not just about finances, nor is it just about one's relationship with God. But it's about the whole experience, lived experience of human life.